Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this lovely ensemble made by Serendi. This was the custom ensemble that was made for her photo shoot, The Oriental Princess. So this was custom made for another model and then it was put up for sale on her Etsy store. So unfortunately this doesn't fit me perfectly, but it seems to fit fairly well anyways. Well enough for me to make a review. So I'm very happy to say that this is my fifth review of a Serendi corset on my channel. And not only will I be showing some details about this corset, but I'll also be showing details of this lovely lace shawl and the skirt to go with it. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So the corset and the halter top are actually attached here. Uh, the center front of this corset is about 10 inches, the side seam is about uh, seven and a half inches, and the back, I believe, is uh, 11 and a half inches. If I just lift up the shawl there, it's a little bit of a higher back there. For the circumferential measurements, you can see that I was wearing it with a bit of a V-shaped gap in the back. That's because the underbust of this is about 26 or 27 inches in circumference. The waist is about 24 inches. And uh, the very bottom edge, which is a little bit above my iliac crest, closes at about 32 inches. This corset definitely gives very mild curves. It's not very dramatic in its silhouette, despite the fact that it does have an eight inch hip spring. But I would still consider this uh, closer to a very mild hourglass or a modern slim silhouette. Okay, so here's the corset, and if it's constructed similarly to all of Serenity's other corsets that I own, then uh, it's three main layers. So there is this brocade fashion fabric, this lovely kind of red on red brocade, with a strength layer of couture, and then a floating uh, lightweight cotton liner on the inside. This corset has a six panel pattern, one, two, three, four, five, Six. and uh, the first two panels you can see that the seam between them angles down to towards the lower tummy to give a little bit more control in that area. For the assembly of this corset, the fashion fabric, the brocade, and the strength fabric uh, were flatlined together. The uh, panels were assembled using a top stitch, and you can see that it's double boned on the seams, with both bones uh, being on one side of the seam towards the back of the corset, as opposed to having uh, each bone sandwich or be straddled on either side of the seam. And of course, like I said before, uh, the lining on the inside is a floating liner. And if I hold this corset taut, from the inside you can see the outline of the invisible waist tape. So it's stitched in between the layers, about one inch wide, and you can see it stretching right from the first panel there all the way to the back panel by the grommets. So here's a close-up of the binding. So it's made from by strips of matching satin, the same satin that the uh, skirt and the halter top was made out of. And it was machine stitched on the outside here. And then on the inside, you can see that it is uh, it appears to be tacked down by hand. And additionally, just taking uh, a bit of time to appreciate all these beads here. So these, I believe, were actually hand assembled and then sewn onto the corset before the binding was actually put on. So that must be a, rem a remarkable amount of work. Um, I think it's beautiful and I love how they, they kind of jingle jangle. The modesty panel on the back is about five inches wide and it is uh, suspended on the laces here with this ribbon here. It is also boned, uh, has two bones down in it in a crisscross fashion that helps it uh, to stay sturdy and not crumple too much when you're trying to lace up here. Additionally, there is a half inch wide unstiffened modesty placket finished in the same uh, brocade as the rest of the corset here, and it's just an extension off of this knob side of the busk here. The busk in this corset is nine inches long. It's a standard flexible busk, so half an inch wide on each side. It has five loops and pins with the bottom two most um, being closer together than the rest of the, the loops and pins in this corset. And they're actually finished in gold to nicely accentuate the, the rest of the hardware on this corset. There are a total of 26 bones in this corset, 13 on each side, not including the front busk here. So like I said before, it's double boned on the seams here, and you can see that they all attract the magnet quite strongly, so I do believe that they are metal. So you can see two, four, six, eight, ten right there. And then there are an additional two uh, quarter inch wide flat steel bones in the back, so I'm doing the grommets, and another quarter inch wide flat in uh, the, the front here just to stabilize the busk a little bit. Additionally, you can see that uh, the halter top is actually directly sewn onto the corset here. So this was also stitched on and then the binding was put on over top of it. So it has a nice gather here uh, to cover the breast area and then it tapers down into uh, ties that you can tie behind your neck. 
And here's a close-up of the grommets, or rather they are two-part uh, five millimeter wide prim eyelets finished in gold to match the rest of the hardware in this corset. Uh, they're all holding in extremely well. You can see that uh, around the waistline they're set a little bit closer together to help you cinch in a little bit easier here. And moving the modesty panel aside so you can see the back of these, you can see that they're all holding in extremely well. No fraying, no uh, damage around the grommets. Uh, none of them seem to have split. They've all seemed to roll really nicely so they don't catch on their laces. They're fine. And the laces in this corset are half inch wide double faced satin ribbon um, finished in I guess the same or a similar a red as uh, she could find at the time. And uh, so it's very strong, no stretch to this at all. They glide well through the laces and uh, they're long enough, they tie the bow quite well so I have no complaints about these. And the skirt is a little big to actually, you know, show the whole thing on screen here. Uh, but you can see that it's made out of the same material that um, the the top of the corset was made out of the halter top here. And you can see that each one of these little gold beads here it seems to be that they were individually hand sewn on, which must have been an amazing amount of time and work to do. And unfortunately you can't really see this on camera but it's actually sort of a, a mermaid style skirt so it is uh, a little bit fitted uh, from the the top to the knee here and then it flares out beautifully and it's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front here so the skirt uh, stops at about ankle length for me but for an outfit like this um, I find it almost appropriate to wear it with like flat sandals or maybe even barefoot if I just want to dance in this or something. So uh, the, the length doesn't really bother me. And lastly, here is the gorgeous lace shawl. Um, I have no idea where you would actually start the pricing of this uh, beautiful piece of fabric here. Um, and I'm not sure if those beads were hand sewn on or if they just uh, were basically sold that way because you can see that um, there's also beads along each one of these scallops on the edges here. So this was actually very cleverly done because uh, they, Sogandi basically took one length of lace and then sewed it into a tube, um, but left the, the opening uh, right in the center there for you to slip your shoulders through and then your arm at each end. So if you wanted to, you could uh, just drape it over your arms um, just as any regular sort of scarf, or you can actually just put your arms through like I was wearing at the beginning of this video and uh, I guess use it more as a bolero type deal. And this concludes my review of this lovely ensemble made by Seventy. so I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this ensemble, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer you or forward your questions over to Seventy, and I'll see you in a few days for another video. Bye!